it's Angela Prophet, and you're tuning in to Productive and Profitable Wedding Planning for Wedding and Event Planners. Today's tip is don't email negative comments about your clients. You know that saying, right? If you can't say anything nice, don't say anything at all. It's a really good motto to follow in your business. So here's what happened to me one time. So I'm driving down the road, having a great day, and I get a phone call from a bride's mother who is irate. She is screaming at me saying, what are you and the vendors calling my daughter? And why are you making fun of her? And I don't understand why I got this email. Now I was so completely caught off guard. I had no clue what she was talking about. And so I said, Mrs. So-and-so, what are you talking about? I'm, I'm sorry, I, you've completely caught me off guard. I, I'm not sure what you're saying. And she said, well, I got an email from your florist that I think was supposed to go to you, but because your name and my daughter's name both starts with an A, I think that he accidentally sent it to her, being her daughter, instead of you. And I said, well, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. What did it say? And so she proceeds to tell me some of the things that this particular vendor had put in an email about the client. Now, he was a little upset because a few days earlier we had had a mock table. You know what a mock table is, right? When you bring your linens and the flowers and you go through everything. And the whole point of the mock table is to make sure that your client likes it. You're there to make sure that if any changes whatsoever need to be made, that's the point of a mock table. It's just like a food tasting. You taste the food to make sure you like it. If you don't like something, it's okay to make changes. But some vendors are a little bit more patient than others. And some vendors take things a little bit more personal than they should. So this vendor took, this vendor took things really personal, unfortunately. And he was venting and he was upset. So instead of taking constructive criticism and redoing a quote, he proceeds to send me this really rude email about the bride. And unfortunately, exactly what the mother thought, yeah. You can guess it accidentally went to the bride instead of me. Now I had not worked with this vendor a ton, but he was older than I was. I thought he'd been in business longer than me. And to me, it's just a simple thing. Like if you can't say something nice, don't say anything at all. I kind of grew up like that, thank goodness. And so I had to call him and tell him what happened. And of course he was mortified. He tried to come up with all kinds of excuses and he was just very frustrated. He's like, what should I do? I'm like, I don't know. I can't tell you what to do. I can't tell you how to run your business. But what I can tell you in the future is when you're working with me, please don't email negative things because you never know who's gonna see that email. And you never know who you could accidentally send something to. I still don't think that the mother quite trusted me. And I still don't think that she believed me that I knew, I, I didn't know anything. I didn't know what she was talking about. And so again, that really put faith and trust aside, not only for the florist, but for me. So it was a very uncomfortable situation. The outcome, my takeaway from this situation, was to be sure that if a vendor really takes something personal at the end of the meeting to communicate with them and make sure that you're communicating verbally rather than sending emails back and forth that could potentially be negative, that could potentially end up in the wrong hands of the wrong person. Did you like this video? If you did, like it, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can even leave me a comment, and if you have a wedding planning question, send it my way. If you want even more great resources to create a productive and profitable wedding planning business, plus some email updates from me that I only talk about in my email, come on over to my website, angelaprofit.com, and be sure to sign up for email updates. Thank you so much for tuning in to Productive and Profitable Wedding Planning on APTV.